Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be talking about why my body looks so different in just two months. This is not clickbait, but this was actually in two months. If you follow my Girls Only Fitness page, I have been documenting the whole journey the last couple months here. And we're gonna be sharing a lot of photos in this video today. So I've not done an updated body video in so long. I haven't been posting a lot in general, so it's the perfect time. It's a new season and I'm hoping that I am putting this video out when you girls are in a phase of wanting to change your body, grow, and get to a place where you're really, really happy and confident with what you see in the mirror. I am going to be talking about this frequently on my channel, but I am in a new phase of life. I do not want to be chasing the ultimate thick fit body anymore. I am really in a place of just, I'm not as obsessed with being as thick as possible anymore. I didn't feel like it was suiting me. And I feel amazing. I'm excited to share with you guys like how I got to this body and what I've been doing different and why my mindset has really changed. This summer, I gained a lot of weight and I have definitely had a layer of extra fat on me for I wanna say like two years now. I just feel like I haven't been able to lose this fat that I've picked up along my thick journey. Sometimes I loved it. Our bodies fluctuate so much throughout the month. So there would be weeks where I was like, I love this. I love how thick I am. You know, I think my butt looks amazing. I love my lower body. I love how wide I am. And then there were some weeks where I was like, I cannot live like this. I felt like I was so bloated. My face was so puffy. It was constantly changing. Clothes didn't sit right on me and I just wasn't comfortable. The biggest thing for me was that like layer of fat on my lower stomach that just never went away. And I felt like I was working out so hard. I was doing very intense workouts and I was just like really frustrated. I got to a point where I felt like I had been working for so long and eating a certain way for so long that I was like almost doubtful. Like I was like kind of convincing myself that I guess I just have to live like this. I have really, really loved the way that that area has been changing the last literally just two months. I'm very excited to share this. So, you know, your girl took notes. So I have six tips for you guys. First tip, I don't want to be boring and, and give this as a first tip, but it's also the most important. We're going to go with it. So first tip, I have been eating in a calorie deficit for two months and I was actually nervous to start eating in a significant deficit, which is sad because I shouldn't have been nervous. Like I've been needing to do this for a while, but honestly, I was nervous because I didn't want to lose my butt. I think that that's sad, but I was worried that I was gonna lose the size I had built. I was worried that I was going to feel so much smaller and I wasn't gonna like it. A lot of things made me nervous, but I'm so happy. I've been in a significant deficit for two months now. I've been eating between like 1400 to 1700 calories, usually around the 1400 side. Sometimes it's like a little bit over, but that number will not be the same for everybody. Everybody's body is different. Our metrics are different. So that will not be your number. A deficit is really what has made the biggest difference for me. I actually feel better eating less, which I kind of knew I would, but I've been eating in at my maintenance or in a surplus for so long now. I was nervous. It wasn't actually as hard as I thought it was gonna be because my body just feels better eating less. And I swear, everything has changed. My face has gotten a lot smaller. I'm not nearly as bloated. Deficit, number one. Number two, so I was eating out very frequently this summer. I was enjoying myself probably like four nights a week every day i was eating out i started really just eating home-cooked meals i know again sounds simple but i rarely eat out now even if you're eating something good at a restaurant you just do not know the ingredients you don't know all the hidden calories it's so hard to calculate what is in that food so make food at home meal prep take the time to do that on a sunday this one was surprising. Okay, it wasn't really surprising. So this tip is a little controversial, but I always mention it because this has worked for me. If it doesn't work for you, 
that's okay. Especially if you are someone that has like one of their problem areas is their lower tummy, which for most women it is. For me personally, that is where I hold like the last bit of my extra fat, even when I was like super small. And what has really helped me with not only bloating, but I feel like just overall flattening of that lower tummy area is waist training or the best way to describe like what a waist trainer does that i've heard is imagine a hair tie like a tight hair tie on your wrist how it kind of leaves that mark behind if it's like left on your arm too long it's kind of what a waist trainer does but i also like to see a waist trainer as a lymphatic drainage service or massage how it kind of just like moves the water around i feel like that's what my waist trainer does and i always 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 am flatter after, after i take that waist trainer off so especially if i have like an event or i know i'm gonna be in a bikini i like to wear my waist trainer throughout the day i don't wear it when i work out because it can definitely impact your core engagement and it's not good if you're working out because you're not really engaging your core like you should be and don't get me wrong i don't think it's like a permanent fix for anything but it's definitely a great temporary fix and it makes you feel better and it makes you look better even if you have to be consistent with it so i'm just going to talk about diet for a second so like i said i have been eating so many more home cooked meals but i have definitely been really watching inflammatory foods like seed oils like processed gluten processed sugars i try to avoid those as much as i can and if i do decide to eat something with those ingredients i eat a small amount of them that's really helped i feel like with overall just inflammation bloating getting smaller quicker i like to just try and cut that stuff out of my diet and you guys know i've made a whole video on this all those like fast protein snacks I don't eat those anymore. And the funny thing is I used to, I switched over to vegan protein for a long time until I started to see negative effects when I used to have my protein shakes. I would feel very bloated, like my stomach would feel weird. I felt like it kind of made me just break out a little bit sometimes. And I have been drinking these whey protein drinks and I feel so good after I drink them. They're super low in calories. I love that there's not a bunch of foreign ingredients that are making up flavor and like where the protein's coming from. So whey's been, I've been okay with whey. Hydration is so important when it comes to bloating and not and being less bloated and just digestion and overall letting everything flow properly. Another big tip of mine is I don't eat after 9 p.m. This was really big for me because I am definitely a late night snacker. I am like, I stay up late, which I shouldn't. I love the quote, the strategy is easy, the execution is hard. With most of my videos, I'm like, how to do it is not the hard part. For everybody, it's just staying consistent and staying focused for long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so happy to share my new routine with you guys. I hope it really helped. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below, ask me whatever you want. And ladies, please follow my girls only fitness page. I get super personal on there. It's kind of like a Finsta, like it's like my very, very personal account. I love the girls on there. I have like 99% women. So I'm gonna link my fitness page down below. Also guys, the set I'm wearing is the new Buff Bunny collection for those who are going to ask. I love this collection. Everything looks amazing. The colors are like the best for fall and winter, such high quality. So I'm gonna link my code and my outfit down below. I love you guys so much. I'm so happy to be back. I will see you very soon in my next.